Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to rewatch my last video that I just did off the DAT load board. I had to make sure that that six thousand dollars. I was trying to think in my head, where did I come up with that? Now I see we uh, left out of Nashville, did head down to Jackson, Tennessee, took it up to Virginia. From Virginia, we dropped down to Florida. From Florida, we made our way back up towards Virginia. And when we got back up there, we came back down to Florida. Perfect. Okay, six thousand net take home. We grossed about seven. I don't know, seven thousand, seventy five hundred, eight thousand gross. Then out the fuel expenses, we was left with six thousand take home. With that six thousand dollars net, this is important, or well, at least for me. Okay? With the six thousand dollars net, go to payroll company. You gonna say you uh on salary two thousand dollars. Okay? You're going to cut yourself a $2,000 check. Tax is $500. You left with $1,500, okay? I'm just rounding the numbers. So out of $6,000, send the government $500. You in control of $5,500. And you got a piece of paper over here on W-2 to say you made... After sending sending everybody their little IRS money, you got a sheet of paper over there that says you gross two thousand for the week, but you in control of five thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, I didn't do that last time I had my authority, you know. Uh, but the money is there. The money is there. If you want to say, hey, hey, Andrew, I need I need to say I I made six thousand dollars on paper. Okay, well, pay yourself six thousand dollars. Send the government nineteen hundred in taxes. You left with like four thousand dollars. Now, do you need to do that? <laughs> you don't need to do that. Just send, just send them like five hundred dollars. Cut it, cut yourself two thousand. They get five hundred. You left with fifteen in your personal account. Keep the other four thousand in the business account. That's it. Five hundred dollars. You netted six. Send them they freaking five hundred dollars. Get your little white sheet of paper that that, that 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 after after a couple of years and months you you can take that white sheet of paper and go borrow some money for a house. You made the money. No no no. Am I am I happy with what I'm seeing on this DAT low board? Uh, well, well let, let let me put it like this. First of all. What I seen on the DAT load board today, totally different than what I've been hearing on the internet. Now, now y'all saw like I saw uh, anywhere between two to three dollars a mile freight. Yeah, I saw a little bit of cheap freight, you know, here and there, but without negotiating at all. No, I'm talking about just taking what was on the load board. I was able to net six thousand dollars. I don't know, there ain't no broker on now that I that you can call it and and say, hey, hey, I'm not trying to negotiate. I'm just trying to take what it's posted for. And they ain't going to give you the load? Now, if you negotiate, Mike could have took on 7000 I don't know. All I did was <laughs> what was on the board. Seems fair enough to me. I just, what was on the board. Now, now, I do understand some of y'all are taking free 50 cent, 80 cent, dollar 20, dollar 30, coalition 18, they, they, they desperately try and get a dollar 90. Totally understand, ain't nothing wrong with none of that. I think coalition 18, I think they up there in VA, ain't they? Yeah, they got a VA. They need to be taking some trip down to Florida. I don't know what's going on with that group, but, but, but. My situation totally different than everybody else. If I netted six thousand dollars for the week, you know, uh, like I said, I would pay my taxes first, send five hundred to our IRS. I'm left with fifty five hundred. Uh, I mean, if the truck needs something, I mean, we rolling with new tires. Um, brakes ain't finna go out in no week. I mean, basically the engine got to blow. Either the engine got to blow, alternator need to go out, the water pump need to go out, a fan belt need to break. 
it, it's not too many components to a 12.7. Uh, turbo need to blow. Something need to happen in the first seven days. Otherwise, you got six thousand dollars or fifty five hundred. You in control of fifty five hundred. You do that the second week. You had ten thousand. No, no, no. To make it fair, that's if you got a drive-in trailer. Now, this is how you can get a drive-in trailer. You get your um. You can either go rent one, or what I would do is just they got plenty of loadout trailers. Get you a seven. The 10 day loadout trailer preferably 10 days will be the best and then you just run that play right there go up to the north you head up to virginia drop down to florida and and then from florida depending on how many days you got left take the trailer wherever and you get a load towards the area that trailer need to be dropped off at or do another load and then from that take it to where it need to be dropped and when you drop the trailer get you another loadout trailer in that area repeat the process so you know, uh, I was under the impression, listening to a lot of truck drivers, that the most I was going to be able to make doing OTR with a motor carrier in today's times was like $1,000 and $1,500. Uh, that's, that's honestly what I thought, you know, especially when I started, you know, here a dollar a mile, dollar thirty. I'm thinking, you know, man, that that's why I was always asking people how the Russians make it. Like, how are these Russians making it? If, if if the truck ain't grossing them but two thousand and twenty five hundred dollars and that's why I got to see stuff for myself. I got to that that that's why I get, now you see why I got to be in control. I, I know. Shut up. I need the authority. I need my own DAT login. I got to lick myself because because what I see and what I'm hearing is is just totally different. To totally different. And I ain't talking about something that I just made up. out. I, I went on DAT load board today. That freight is on there right now. So, so I'm not saying nobody lying or nothing like that. I, I, I'm just saying, when I, yeah, yeah, I went on there. I paid the $50. And I'm just, what I see and what you see, it must be two totally different things. I don't know. I, I don't know. But can I pay a driver 60 cent a mile off that 6000 I can pay a driver seventy five cent dollar a mile. Do I want to do that? No, no, I don't want to do that. I really want to pay a driver twenty five cent, thirty cent. Pay him what? What? What is night? What is CR Engel paying? Eighteen cent, twenty five. I don't know what they pay. Him. Let's pay him what CR Engel paying them, and just just fill them up. Hey man, I'm afraid out here paying a a dollar nine cent a mile. Yeah, tell them that right there. Hey man, ain't nothing. Ever, the economy down bad. Or uh, uh, Joe Biden this, Joe Biden that. Joe, Bi Joe Biden got everything just jacked up. Trucking ain't paying nothing. And just on the back end, just be racking all the money. In. <laughs> uh, just pay your taxes, man. Just, just pay your taxes. Um. Uh, like I said, man, the most important thing that I saw out of the whole equation is uh, sending the government $500 for the week so you can show you made 2000 or if you want to just pay the, pay 1800 and show 6000 price. Just, just, just make sure they get their cut. That's all that matters to me. Just as long as they get the little RS, get their 550 they got their cut. And some of y'all were saying, Andrew, you can get a solo 401k. And that you have more control over. Hey, hey, you got more than enough profit to do all that. I told you my life insurance twenty three dollars a month. No, no, no. Ask yourself, now, Andrew. No, how can you afford seven hundred dollar a month insurance? Did you just did you just see me grow six thousand dollars? That was in seven days. No, no. Luckily for me, I don't have to pay the the, the insurance. You know, YouTube covers that. But 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 still, if they if if I YouTube wasn't paying me nothing at all, I could still pay for it. The fact that I only got to drive a truck and pay a fuel bill that should be a crime itself. Now 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 that y'all have seen what my numbers would be if I had to drive in and and just did what I just showed y'all. 
Now y'all see why I like cash equipment. I don't want to be out here paying people for a truck, no trailer, no uh, 250 cargo, and, and, and if the fees, and, and license plate fees, and physical damage fees, and ELD fees, and uh, cash advance fees, and 20% to a carrier, and dispatching fees. When you avoid all that crap, only thing you're paying is fuel and some insurance. And if you're like me, you ain't got the insurance, but you're just paying fuel off mud flap. There ain't no monthly fee on the mud flap. Mud flap is free for everybody. Hey, all I'm saying is, uh, there's a lot of money out there, and and, and this is in bad times, because they they said what I'm seeing on that low board right there today, that this is in the worst possible times ever in all of trucking. So I can only imagine in good times, brother. I may I may can do ten thousand, twelve, twenty thousand. I don't know. I have no. I'm, all I know is this is the bad times. I'm just saying, man. I I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, now, do I want to do OTR? Nope. I, I don't want to do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't want to do OTR. But if I gotta do it, I'm looking to do six thousand take home. Am I gonna do that? I don't need six thousand take home. Let's just say I need fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, I can do fifteen hundred. We we, Tennessee to Georgia was eleven hundred dollars. No, it was fourteen hundred dollars. When I first started the video, that was fourteen hundred dollars, and and it was four hundred to get to Georgia. We had a thousand dollars the first day. By the next day, you can just turn around from Georgia and, and and start heading to the house with a load, and be done. So so. Just something to think about, man. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all keep the views rolling in. I try to give y'all this good informative information. You know, uh, just something to think about, man. You know, just somebody that ain't controlled by the soon type guys. Yeah, see, I'm I, I'm in control. There ain't nobody over me. Can't nobody call my phone, ask me when I'm gonna go to work, nothing like that. Hey, hey, hey. I ain't got. I, ain't, I don't have to lie to people. I don't have to be out here tricking people, and I ain't got no driving a lot too. I don't got none of that. I, I'm just telling you like it is. So, so, comment, subscribe, like, and uh, we're gonna see how this work out.